Hey everybody, Rich with PCC. Hey, there's some industry buzzwords that we're hearing a lot of, and I just want to kind of talk through that today. And that, uh, you know, one of those words is simulation. Sometimes I hear the word emulation, uh, sometimes the word digital twin. And I'd like to talk a little bit about today what, what those different things are and, and potentially what they mean to different people. Uh, and then also how that would apply to your automation system and, and specifically Siemens automation systems. So when we talk about simulation and, and we talk about digital twins, uh, we can kind of look at that as, as two different levels or, or, or two different capabilities uh, as far as simulating PLCs or PLC code or even complete machines. And so let's let's break that down uh, just a little bit. So. At its simplest level, when I think of simulation, uh, I think of the, the tool sets that you have available to you in the TIA portal and, uh, and, and the Step 7 software. Uh, and that functionality is called PLC Sim uh, in the Siemens world. And, and the, the, the concept behind that is I simply want a target to be able to download my PLC code to and make sure that it operates and runs and calculates in the ways and methods that I expect it to. So in that case, I'm, I'm, I'm not interacting with any kind of machine or machine design. I'm simply just downloading a piece of code and I want that to, um, you know, I, I want that, that, that code to be emulated or simulated in some type of a, a runtime engine. Now, one step beyond that is potentially I have an HMI in the system, and maybe I want to see how that HMI interacts with that PLC code. And so now I could I could simulate or emulate my, my, my runtime of my HMI along with that PLC code and see how they interact. So in its most basic format of simulation, that's kind of the, the, the lowest level uh, that I typically see and hear uh, in the industry. So in this first uh, next video segment that I'm going to do, I'm going to actually show you how the PLC sim software where it works along with the HMI em emulator and what that can get you in your application. Okay, so this demonstration is to show you the uh, the functionality of the PLC SIM software uh, in combination with the uh, the WinCC runtime, uh, so that we can simulate our TIA portal project even though we don't have any any hardware with us. So as you can see here, I've got a, a very simple project in front of me. I've got one uh, S7 1200 PLC in the project. I've got one uh, four inch uh, comfort panel. Uh, I do currently have the the PLC SIM software open up and have downloaded uh, this very simple program to the simulator uh, and it is in run mode so uh, I can get this uh, I can get this up and running here I can show you that the logic is operational and so now I can see my coil is activated after modifying that uh, modifying those bits so I'll put this back to its normal state. And then I can also bring up my HMI simulator. So uh, I have the, the four inch, this looks just like a four inch uh, comfort panel. And I just have some simple start and stop buttons with an indicator as to the status of, of M1. Uh, so I can now uh, go ahead and, and operate uh, these, um, these pieces of data. And I can see that the logic is operational. So, so I can, I'm proving here that my HMI is interacting with the logic that is running in the PLC and activating the code uh, as I would expect uh, that, that, that code to do. So uh, as you can see here, a uh, very simple approach, no hardware in front of me, uh, but I am able to, uh, to simulate my logic, simulate my HMI. And, and one, one other uh, point that I want to make is I did not have to change out my my hardware my PLC uh, in this system uh, I've seen situations where in order to use a simulator or emulation type of software you actually have to change out the CPU in your program uh, to reflect that you're using that emulator engine and just want to emphasize that that is absolutely not the case uh, in the world of TIA portal and and the s7 PLCs uh, we can keep our project as it would be in the field as we expect it to be once we have that that hardware in front of us and we're able to download to that machine and we can go ahead and, and simulate that as is. All right, so that's 
the basics of simulating your PLC operation, uh, simulating your PLC code, your, your HMI interaction. Uh, but to take that a step further, we're hearing that term digital twin in the market. And uh, you know, there's another, another term that you might hear called virtual commissioning. And the concept behind that is I not only want to simulate the, the, the PLC code itself and make sure that the, the code operates and reacts as I would expect, I want to actually see how that PLC code would interact with my machine but maybe I don't have my machine. Maybe I don't have that physically here with me. So in that particular case, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take and, and use a higher level simulator capabilities. Uh, in, in the Siemens world, we would call that PLC Sim Advanced. So it's a, it's, it's a higher end application. And then we would have that PLC Sim Advanced interact with potentially a 3D CAD environment where I'm doing my 3D mechanical designs. And now in that case, I can truly create a digital twin of my machine machine and, and, and have the, the, the automation system interacting with the mechanical system in a software based or software in the loop uh, type of situation uh, even though I don't have my PLC hardware or my machine mechanicals uh, sitting in front of me. So in this next segment what I want to show you is a couple of tools that Siemens has available uh, that you can use for doing this software in the loop uh, digital twin type of functionality or virtual commissioning type of functionality. All right, so here we want to demonstrate that enhanced capability of, of showing uh, the interaction between uh, the actual machine design and the automation system in a simulated environment. So here what you see is uh, the a piece of software that Siemens calls NX uh, with, a, with an optional package uh, called uh, Me Mechatronics Concept Designer. And in this environment, you can uh, do your 3D design uh, as your mechanical engineers typically would. Uh, you can also simulate the operations uh, inside of this package of software uh, as far as the, the individual operations of, of a system, and in this case we have a pick and place system. Um, but to take that a step further, we want to have the operation of this machine interact with the automation system. So in that case, what we use is a, a product called PLC Sim Advanced from Siemens. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, PLC Sim Advanced, it's got, we've got a little bit of a control panel interface here, but uh, we talked earlier about PLC SIM, and in that environment, we're simply just simulating the logic of the PLC and, and potentially the interaction of that PLC logic and, and data with an HMI. Uh, what PLC SIM Advanced brings to the table is connectivity to the outside world. So now you have built-in APIs that have the hooks to be able to have your, your input and output points that are programmed in, in the PLC program actually interact with input and output points that are uh, developed in your 3D um, your 3D model. Uh, so what we can do is now we can have PLC Sim Advanced uh, running the application in a simulated environment or as we would call software in the loop. So as you can see here, we're starting the operation. We started the machine, but things are happening based on the actual logic in the PLC as opposed to just a standalone model. Uh, in this case, we have an error. The, the logic was able to identify there's a problem, and now we actually were able to figure that out. We can fix that in the modeling software before we have anything built uh, or, or, or developed uh, in, you know, physically, and we can, we can fix that and be on, on our way without having those complications once the machine hits the floor. To take this uh, virtual commissioning and digital twin concept a step further, uh, we talked about the use case of being able to do operator training and also programming before you have the, uh, the, the physical equipment in front of you. And, and here what you can see is we have the, uh, the model of the machine. Again, we're still talking about NXMCD. Uh, we have the, the automation system and that we've got the, the HMI screen that the operator would use for, for running the machine and monitoring uh, the machine status. Uh, we also have the TIA portal software uh, up in the upper right here that is actually online with the automation system uh, able to monitor the code make changes on the fly uh, and, and do things like that we would typically do when we're doing commissioning physically sitting in front of the machine uh, PLC sim advanced is running in the background uh, handling all this uh, but this really gives us the ability to you know as it says on the screen here validate the HMI we can train the operators and, and even you know one more use case is to be able to use videos like this 
uh, and simulations like this to promote the machine. So when you think about it from an OEM's perspective, the ability to be able to demonstrate the simulation of the machine uh, to their end customer uh, so they can actually get a look and feel for what that, what that system would, would do and how it re would react. All right, so thanks for checking that out. Uh, when we get to the topic of virtual commissioning, when we get to the topic of creating a digital twin, uh, historically there's been a couple of use cases for that. And you know, one being you can train operators ahead. So maybe you're building a machine that's gonna be going to a plant site and uh, you don't physically have the machine yet, but now you could use that digital twin uh, and that HMI interaction uh, with, you know, with, with the PLC functionality and, the, and, and you can actually simulate the machine operation so you can train operators ahead of the delivery of the machine. That's one, one case that we can use it. Another case is maybe that machine has already been deployed and I want to make a change to the functionality of that machine, but I'd like to test it ahead of time. That's another great use case uh, for, for using that, that digital twin functionality. One that has become a little bit more um, uh, impactful as of late with the, the supply chain issues and, and delivery delays and things like that uh, is the idea of being able to simulate your machine without necessarily having the hardware and, and the mechanicals. Uh, you know, sometimes we get into a situation where we're waiting for all the pieces and parts of the machine to show up so it can get assembled and powered up so I can actually do the commissioning and testing of the machine in the physical world world. Well, if we've got situations where pieces and parts of that machine have very long deliveries, but we don't want to necessarily delay the ultimate delivery of the machine to our end customer, we need some means to be able to do that engineering and testing without having the physical pieces and parts. By leveraging the software capabilities of being able to simulate the PLC, the HMI, and the mechanicals of the system, now I can get a large portion of that programming and testing done before I actually have those pieces pieces and parts in-house. And then once those pieces and parts do show up in-house, it's going to make the efficiency of getting those things started up and programmed and running much, much faster so I can still meet the needs of my customer's delivery cycle. So hopefully that breaks down uh, kind of some, some differences that we see in terminologies with regards to simulation, emulation, digital twin type of functionality. And keep your eye out for future videos where we dive a little deeper on the subject. Thanks a lot.